What's up, friends? Welcome back to my channel. I hope you all are doing well. As you can see, I am not in my original setup today. I've actually been in Miami for about a week now, creating some content for you guys and doing a little bit of a warm weather getaway because I desperately needed it. It is so, so cold in Boston and kind of hard to film sometimes when you don't have a lot of sunlight during the winter. So what I thought I would do for this video today is kind of do a glowy, clean girl vacation kind of look for you guys with the makeup that I brought here on my trip. If you guys missed it, I did do a pack with me video where I showed you guys all the makeup that I'm going to be bringing, all the fashion that I brought on this trip and kind of how I like to pack my makeup. But this video is gonna be a get ready with me using the makeup. Also, luckily I received right before I left for my trip, the new Sonia G Kayaki set. This is the mini Niji Kayaki and then also the Kayaki Buffer Pro. So I'm gonna be using these today, talking about them, giving you guys my thoughts. And I also have the other full-size version so I can maybe do a little bit of a comparison to help you guys out. So if you want to see me do this fun little get ready with me with nothing particularly new, just a fun little glowy look, then keep watching. All right, I've got my hair back. I've got my iced coffee. I am using natural light today, so this is going to be, this is all natural. I'm sitting right next to the window. I'm actually going to start off with a primer. This was sent to me by the brand Peace Out. It is the Peace Out Instant Pore Perfector. It's got hyaluronic acid, niacinamide, and mushroom extract. You guys know I don't use primers super often unless they're like more of a glowy primer, but I'm going to be using this today because actually when I'm in kind of warmer, humid type of weather here, I will grab primers. This one's just kind of good at controlling oil, and I'm using just the littlest bit because if you're new here, I do have a dry skin type. I already put on a ton of sunscreen before this. I just did a little bit of a workout. I showered, slathered on some sunscreen on my face and neck. They sent this to me and I was like, oh, I don't normally use primers, but it came at the perfect time because I like to put these in my travel bags. The base that we're going to be doing today is one that I started using maybe a day or two before I left and I thought to myself, I need to bring this to Miami. And it is going to be the Danessa Myricks Vision Cream cover and I have this in the shade N02 so I think this might be the second shade I'm usually one of the lightest shades in the neutral category this is very very pigmented you can use this as a foundation and a concealer and you're probably wondering Sophia why are you using this like super full coverage thing on a warm weather trip it seems a bit fussy well let me tell you if you want to do a base that actually stays and is waterproof that lasts all day if you actually want to wear makeup and have it look good and really last when you're on vacation, when you're in humid weather. Maybe you're going to like a pool party. Maybe you're somebody who, you know, you're going to a beach club and you're not really there to swim. You're just there to look cute and have fun. Like this is the best thing you can use. It's extremely concentrated and very portable. And I want to show you guys how I apply this because it is super potent. So I'm just putting a little bit on my hand and then you have to mix it with like an oil or a serum or something like that. So I'm gonna be using this one by Say. I have the travel size. What is this called? This is the Glowy Super Gel in the shade Star Glow. I will put all of like the shades and the products. I'm gonna be linking them down below. You guys know I mostly use affiliate links. So when you shop through the links, it does support my channel. So thank you guys so much, by the way, for those of you who tell me I used your link. That's always very sweet. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you like it. I know a lot of you guys have been asking for just more like tutorials and tips and get ready with me's things that are not focused so much on all new things. So I just mixed that on the back of my hand to kind of like emulsify it. And then I'm going to use a flat top brush. This is from It Cosmetics. I'm going to link it down below because they just came out with a new version of this. So I'm just going to lightly put a light layer like the thinnest layer I can because you can tell it's pretty potent it's very very full coverage we're not even going to use all of this it's just like it's hard to control how much comes out of the little pump I really only do maybe maybe half a pump maybe half a pump shear it out across the face I've been wearing this every single day for a week and I really, like, I bought it and I wasn't using it that much. And then when I did my declutter, I was like, you know what? I need to try this out again and see if it's worth keeping. All right, so this is what we've got. I'm just getting up super close. You don't want to put on too much because 
it's gonna look like a mask and this is waterproof like it's even kind of hard to wash off my hand with just soap and water but i just wanted to show you once you get it on and especially mixing it with something like the say amazing you don't need to buy this by the way like you can use some other oil or whatever that you guys have in your collection now we're going to go in with concealer i'm going to be using the uma beauty stay woke concealer this is just super travel size and also it's like not too matte it's not too serum-y, like it sets down nicely. I don't want anything too matte on my under eyes because it's, it's just too drying on me. And I'm using the shade T1 because I don't want anything that's too brightening in, on my under eyes for this look because we're gonna be going in with like some bronzers, some highlighters to sort of warm everything up and this this kind of almost exactly matches my skin and i'm just blending that in with this little bk beauty brush this is the mini contour which by the way they now sell separates of these and this is my favorite one from the extension line it's number 109 i will link it down below it has surpassed my sephora concealer brush the one that i have three of because it's kind of the same shape but it's a million times softer it never sheds i've been i've been using it nonstop. i even gave one to my mom i think i got it for her as a christmas gift and she absolutely loves it it's so nice and gentle on your under eyes like it doesn't tug at your skin okay so now we're going to get into the bronzer application the blush the highlighter and we're going to be using the new sonia g kayaki brushes we are traveling after all so we're going to be using our travel brushes so i want to show you guys the two that she came out with first off we have the kayaki niji and so this is kind of the travel size version of the full size niji pro and then we also have the kayaki buffer pro and this is the travel size of the full size buffer pro the things that you need to know are that the two kayakis have the same exact shape obviously they have different handles but the new kayaki version has different bristles okay so the original niji pro i do have a review of this brush you can find it on my channel page this has more like stiffer bristles it's really good for picking up kind of baked products if you have anything in your collection that's a little hard to pick up or if you like maybe a heavier application of something this is great for that it's also because it's kind of dense it's really good for for kind of chiseling the face. It's got that flatter shape. So I feel like this is just a really good multi-purpose brush. If you like something that is bigger, wider, good for contour, good for bronzer, and if you have a hard time picking up some products, this one, it feels like a very different brush to me. I actually think that this feels a little bit more like the jumbo bronzer, but not quite as big, not quite as fluffy because that's a pretty big brush. These bristles are a little bit airier, like they still are pinched together in the same manner, but they are just a little bit fluffier across the face. So it's gonna give you a softer blend. It's not gonna pick up as much product. I think it's an all around really good little travel brush that you can use for a lot of things. I don't think this is gonna be as easy to use for like a contour type of situation. But if you're somebody that you're kind of afraid of picking up too much product, this one will be better. Now, when we take a look at the Buffer Pro, this is the same exact brush just with a different handle as the full size. So if you already have the full size, like this really isn't a different brush for me. These are my favorite, like the Niji and the Buffer brushes from Sonia G are probably some of my favorite brushes in my collection. I talked about them in my favorite brush in every category video. So if you guys are into food, if you're into brushes, you want some recommendations, I will link that video down below. You know, I just wanted to show you guys, they really are the same brush. I know that this one looks a little bit bulkier, but it's just because it's been used. I wanted to show you that after you use it, you know, it kind of it feels a little bit denser on the face and it kind of fluffs and splays out a little bit more. This is what it looks like when it's just freshly washed. Like see how wispy that is? And then if you want a comparison with the Smooth Buffer, the Smooth Buffer is almost exactly the same, except it's a little bit 
smaller. See how it's smaller? So if you are confused on which one to get, I like the Buffer Pro actually a little bit better because it's bigger. So I feel like I can use it for bronzer. I can use it for blush. I can even use it for highlighter. You can even fit it in here and use it as contour. If I'm going to recommend any of these brushes, I would say one of these, just pick the kind of handle that you like. When it comes to the Buffer Pro, because it is smaller, it gives you more precise application. So you can use it a little bit more for highlighter or if you have like a more a smaller face, a more petite face, you wanna use it more for just kind of like powder application in the places that you need it, then you might wanna give this one a try. But they're all, they're all good brushes. It just depends on like if you want a bulkier one that covers more of your face, or if you want something that's a little bit more precise that's really gonna buff the product in. So let me show you how I like to use these. I'm gonna be going in with the Mario Skin Perfector. This is called the Soft Sculpt Transforming Skin Perfector, and I have the shade light medium. I'm mostly just going to be using the bronzer side right here. Sometimes I'll mix them together and apply that to the cheeks and we're just gonna really buff all of that into the skin. And maybe I'll show you guys with the regular Niji. I don't know if you can see just how much more product gets picked up. So you can kind of see how this just sort of splays out a little more across the face. It's incredibly soft. Next, I'm gonna be doing some contour. I have the Westman Atelier Face Trace Stick in the shade Biscuit. I love this for travel because it's just so easy to whack on. And a lot of you guys ask me if you can use the Niji Pro for cream products. I, w I definitely would not use this one for cream products because these bristles, you can tell, like you don't want creams to get stuck in them because this is so dense. I think it's okay with something like the Westman Atelier stick because it's more of a drier formula. So I just wanna show you guys how you can kind of use that to buff in the contour around the face. Like this blends really easily, but if you have anything that's kind of dewy it's not really the best like I would recommend these brushes all of these more so for powder products that's really what they are designed for so now we are nice and chiseled next I'm going to go in with some blush I have been loving these Tom Ford blush duos this is in the shade sun drunk we got kind of like a nice little peach and a coral and then you can mix them together and for the blush I'm going to be using the buffer pro from the Niji line and I'm just going to kind of dot between those colors and it's just the perfect size to really buff it all over the cheeks. And for this type of look, I like to kind of put some on my nose as well because when I flush and when I get color from the sun, which is not often, but if I do, I get it on like the tops of my forehead and kind of this band across my face. It blends so, so seamlessly. I want this look to be very natural, but I also want it to be super duper glowy and I'm using mostly powder products because if I'm in a humid environment like down here in Florida I do tend to go mostly for the powder products because I just don't I don't want my hair like sticking to my face and all of that so I'm going to be going in with the tiger palette from Hourglass it looks like this and I'm going to be using kind of the blushes and the highlighters in here. I showed you guys in my review of these palettes, you can use these buffer brushes, especially if you have maybe some highlighters that are traditionally a little bit too dark for your skin tone. You can really use these to kind of buff them into the skin. I know that this palette has been a little hard to get because it's kind of been selling out. It was apparent, it's supposedly limited edition, we don't know. But if you're having trouble getting this, one recommendation that I also have here is the Dior Forever Couture Luminizer in the shade 06 Coral Glow. You know, it's got kind of like a similar vibe right there. So this you can get on the Dior website. I'm going to link it down below. It's my favorite shade from that highlighter collection. But today we're going to be using the Tiger Palette. So I'm actually going to go into this glowy blush and I'm going to layer that on top of what I just did there with the Tom Ford. And you can see that glow it instantly gave me. And the buffer brush is really just gonna help to buff it in. It's so, it's so soft oh, and it's brand new. So it's like extra soft and clean. And I'm also gonna be taking that up here because I wanna try and just blend all of this into the hairline, especially because I am pale. I really need to make sure 
that it all gets blended and sometimes I take a little bit and I put it here like onto the throat almost just to kind of like tie everything together. Now for the highlighter I'm going to be using the smooth buffer because like I said this one is a little bit smaller and what I like to do in this palette is that I'm going to kind of mix the blush with I think I'm going to do I've been doing this shade I'm going to mix the blush with this have a very light hand and then I'm going to buff it into the skin like this in layers. We're going to go slowly to start and I will take you guys outside once I'm done so you can kind of see this more direct sunlight and I'm also going to put it onto my ears because once again I like everything to connect and I also get flushed on my ears naturally if I kind of blusher I've been out in the sun etc. Now we're gonna get into the eyes and one of the palettes that I brought with me that I have been loving that I actually bring on most like warm weather trips is this one from Busy Art. It is called the Busy Art Soleil La Plage palette and I like this because it's bright, it's cheerful, it's got all of like the neutral tones that you need but some of these have like some multi-dimension to them. You have these pops of yellow, you've got these pops of color right here, you have this nice rich gold. So it gives you a lot of options, but it's all kind of like relatively neutral. So let's start off with kind of like the mid-tone brown right here, and I'm just gonna lay a base and kind of pop that into the crease. Next, I'm gonna go into this sort of champagne -y shade. I feel like most people have this type of shade in a lot of their neutral palettes. And this one just has a little bit of multi-dimension to it. Like it's slightly pink, it's slightly tan. It's just a really great shade to brighten up the eye. I'll show you there in the light to create a really nice base. One of the shades that I love in this palette that doesn't look like it would be anything special but it's so so good is this pastel matte yellow if you guys have a pastel shade like this in your palette you can really use this to brighten up the eyes this is a good one it's very opaque and if you have a deeper skin tone this is going to pop on you even more but what i have been doing has just been putting it in the inner corner and then kind of like taking it up the lid here so that i just have this kind of burst of brightness from the center of the lid and I'll kind of take it down here as well. You can also use this as a base. I've tested putting this like all over the lid and then layering the shimmers on top. I don't even know if it's like coming across. And, yeah, you can kind of see it there in the in the sunlight. It's very subtle, but when the natural light hits your face, it's incredibly brightening. I think it's just a really nice subtle way to do something interesting without making your look colorful. Now I'm gonna take this shimmery white shade, which it's, you know, a little bit whiter than the yellow we just put down, and it's obviously a shimmer. And I'm gonna dot that in the inner corners right here. And then I'm gonna also take it down to this lower lash line. The light is starting to come in a little bit more and you can really see like the glow of all the highlighters that we did and kind of how it's connecting to the eye. Next, I'm gonna create a little bit more depth with the eye. I think I'm gonna mix this color and this color together because I don't want it to be just brown. I want it to have a little bit more of like a pop. Sometimes I go with just the brown, but I want something a little bit different. And it's pretty pigmented, that orangey red but we're only gonna be putting it kind of like right here in the outer corner. Beautiful. I'm kind of thinking that I wanna go a little bit bolder and use this yellow here. So I think I actually am, I'm not gonna totally go over what we did before, but I'm just gonna pop a little bit of yellow in the inner corner. And this is a great trick when you see these types of yellows in palettes and you're like, oh, what am I doing with that? I don't wanna look sick. I think a good way to go about it is to just kind of color block it, like keep it contained to one little spot so it looks very intentional. Like I don't think that I would go in with this color all over the eye, but I like the way it looks just kind of popping out there from the center. Now I'm gonna go into the center of the lid with kind of like a sparkly, wet look, ethereal type of sparkly topper shade. And I'm super excited to show you guys this because I went into Sephora the other day, kind of looking for the perfect neutral topper shade because 
if you are new here, I basically was on like a no buy of single eyeshadows for a really long time. And then after I did my declutter a couple weeks ago, I realized it's not that I don't like single shadows. It's that I really just mostly like to use them as toppers, if that makes sense. And the color that I felt like I was missing was just like a neutral topper or like a white shimmer. A lot of the ones that I have in my collection are kind of like cool tone, smoky ones, pink tone ones. And I just, I went into Sephora looking for kind of like the perfect neutral topper. The first one that I looked at was this one from Urban Decay. This is the shade Cosmic. I love a good like sparkly like center of the eyelid so I looked at this one but then friends I found this one from the Sephora collection I know a lot of you guys told me that these single shadows are really good but I never really gave them a try I never really went and swatched them in store they got some good stuff and this one is called number 29 first light I'll find it and I'll link it down below let me show you see how it's white and it's got little flecks of gold well when you like rub those together, it's so pretty. And I've tested both of these and they're both, they're both really nice. Let me see if I can swatch this on the inside of my arm. You see how it catches the light there? They're both really nice, but I think that I like this cheaper one better. I think I like the Sephora collection one because it has a little bit more like multi-dimension and it's more of a like a white gold, whereas this one from Urban Decay is more of like a pure white shimmer. So I'm gonna be going in with this one and just adding like that little bit of etherealness to the center of the eye, right? Glowy, but natural. And what I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna go into some of the leftover Vision Cream cover that's on my hand to kind of get a little bit of something that's going to stick to the glitter. Now I'm dipping my brush in the glitter so it's all kind of, I shouldn't say glitter. It's a, like a glittery topper. It's not pure glitter. I'm tapping off my brush and then I'm just carefully applying that to the lid. And I have found that I don't really get much fallout at all when I do this technique. Oh, it's so satisfying every time. Look at that. Is that not the prettiest topper ever. This is so good. The packaging is not very nice. It's the cheapest thing ever, but that's okay. It makes it very travel friendly. So this is my new obsession. I've been using it almost every day. I mean, I've been testing the Urban Decay one, but if you were not able to find one from Urban Decay that you like, maybe give this a try. They also have another one, I forget the name, that is more gold. So if you have a warmer skin tone or you want something that's a little darker or more of like a richer yellow gold, they have another one. But I was trying to limit myself and try it out before I bought them all. Before I finish up the eyes, I am going to be doing my brows real quick. I'm using the Kosas Brow Pop and I'm just kind of filling them in a little bit. I did tint them before I left for this trip so that I wouldn't have to do this so much. But you know, it kind of like fades and whatnot. Are you guys going anywhere this winter? Are you trying to get away from the cold? Obviously for some of you guys, like if you're in Australia, it's summer for you right now. And I'm so jealous. I just had some friends that went there maybe earlier in the month and it looked so, so beautiful. And then I know a lot of you guys already live in like warmer climates. Maybe you live in Florida, which by the way, Thank you so much to all of you that gave me so many wonderful recommendations of like where to go here when I'm in Miami. You guys are so sweet. A lot of you guys are like telling me what the weather was going to be like. You guys are so nice. I love it. And thank you for your patience. You know, I kind of get behind on my content on posting, not creating content, but posting content when I travel and it can get a little bit hectic with my, my other like day job as well. So thanks for your patience. It's been really nice to kind of just, you know, do something different, a little bit of a change of pace. So I would love to know if you guys, are you taking any vacations coming up? Are your kids, are do they have off for like a winter break or something like that? Because I know that they do that in Massachusetts. I think what I've learned after living in Boston for, I think, 13 years at this point is like, you need to have something to look forward to in the winter just to kind of just to kind of like get through the winter just to have something to look forward to it makes such a big difference <laughs> okay so i did my brows just kind of brush them out a little bit i'm gonna go in with my glossier brow flick and just kind of fill in the gaps a little bit 
I find that especially if I'm going to be doing more of a more like neutral look, I want my brows to look very sharp. I feel like that's the key to that sort of like clean girl look is to have it look natural, but like very crisp and perfect, like nice clean lines. That's kind of just what I'm doing right now. Just kind of filling in a couple of the little gaps, especially around the edges. To finish up the eyes, I'm gonna be doing some black liquid liner, and then I'm also gonna be going in with the Tower 28 Make Waves Mascara. Been loving this. It's very long wearing, even in kind of like the heat and the humidity, and I like the length that I get from this one. Sometimes if I'm going for something more simple, I will skip the eyeliner, but once again, there's just something really nice that I've been liking about like the clean lines of like a crisp liquid liner wing. So I'm gonna go in, I'm using the KVD Tattoo Liner in the shade Trooper. I also, I should have brought the brown one too. They have a Mad Max brown and that would also go well with this if you want something that's like a little bit more natural. Voila, we have our wing. I tried to do just a small one, nothing too crazy. And now I'm gonna go in with the mascara. This is what the wand looks like, I'm sure. If you guys follow me, you know how much I love this mascara. But if you are new here, welcome. I know I have a lot of new subscribers from a lot of my recent videos and I haven't gotten a chance to really say hello to those of you who are new. I hope you guys have been enjoying the content. I'm so excited to edit some of like the vlogs and the stuff that I've been filming here in Miami. I know a lot of you guys subscribe to me because you love makeup and beauty, but I also am trying to incorporate a little bit more like fashion and lifestyle and you guys loved the pack with me video. So I've really been enjoying doing a little bit more of a mix like these style of videos, other helpful types of makeup videos, fashion videos, and not just doing like all new releases because we don't, you know, not everybody has the budget to be buying like new luxury makeup all the time. So I've been enjoying kind of mixing it up myself and just using what I have, you know, using some of my favorites and just sharing those favorites and the tips that I have with you guys. Mascara is on and speaking of Tower 28, they actually sent me their new lip liners or I guess you can use these as eyeliners as as well, but they're all nudes. This is called the One Liner, and these are safe for sensitive skin. They're silicone-free, fragrance-free, vegan, cruelty-free, and the shade that I think I'm gonna use is called Work of Art. There are three shades, and they're pretty much all nudes. I think I'm gonna try and film like a little reel for you guys and post that on my Instagram so you can see some swatches of all of those. I have been using these. These are great if you are kind of like a neutral lover. They're very creamy. They're not perfectly long lasting, but they really glide across the lips. If you just want something easy, natural, that blends really well, these are great. And actually, let me swatch this one for you. Just kind of like it's a nude, you know, this looks a lot like Charlotte Tilbury. Iconic nude. I don't think these are a must have, but I've really been enjoying them, I must say. And then I'm gonna, we're gonna top it off with one of the lip glosses that they sent me. See how they just kind of like glide across the lips really well? I just kind of fill in my lips everywhere and then I put the gloss on top. And then this is the matching gloss that I'm gonna be using. This shade is called cashew i didn't have these milky versions before i had one of like the jelly versions which i think came out first and i really really liked it and all of these pencils they match up perfectly or almost yeah pretty much dead on perfectly with these milky lip glosses so this is what the packaging looks like it's very summery these are very high shine they're not sticky they are, le they're not as much of a thick formula. They're a little bit more of a thinner formula, but man, they are moisturizing. I forgot how moisturizing these are. Look how shiny that is. This is for that person that likes high shine and just like a dose of moisture. Yes. Oh, does it smell? It has like a subtle scent. It's not offensive at all. It's not fruity or anything like that. I think it's probably unscented and it's just the scent of the lip gloss. This is great to just kind of throw in your purse. In fact, the other color that I have is in one of my handbags because I've been wearing it a lot. Honestly, I think if you're gonna get any of these, either of these, I think that like the lip gloss is probably my favorite because I already have some lip liners that are like this. Although I do, I do like the fact that they match. I like the fact that they kind of go together, but these lip glosses, they're so moisturizing and I love the shine. 
you just kind of whack them on. They're not sticky. They're great. They're not gonna have as much longevity as like, you know, a Lancome Juicy Tube that's like a little bit thicker or whatever, but not a lot of people like that sort of thickness and that stickiness. These are really, really good. So let's take the hair down. I've got my summer hair for you guys here. I will link down below the tool that I use to get the waves in my hair. Very affordable. You can get it like at Ulta or Amazon or something like that. I'm gonna link it down below. Now I'm gonna take you guys outside and I'm gonna show you what this looks like in the Florida sunshine. All right, friends, please excuse any of the outdoor noises. I just wanna show you what this makeup is looking like out in kind of the daylight in the real world. We're getting some different angles here. We've got a nice little pop of color on the center and hopefully this is helpful so that you guys can kind of see how this look translates on my skin tone in natural light. Try and use as much natural light as possible. And that is all I have for you guys today. Thank you so much for watching this little get ready with me as I try on some of the products that I brought on my trip. Comment down below and let me know what you thought of this look. Let me know if there are any other kind of similar looks or different types of looks that you want me to create because I would love to do more get ready with me's for you guys. Let me know, do you own any of these products and have you been using them lately? I would love to know. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it. And also if you are new here, consider subscribing to my channel. I upload content every single week on new beauty products, get ready with me's, favorites videos, fashion hauls, luxury bag reviews, lifestyle, you name it. So if you want to come and join me for more videos, definitely hit that subscribe button and the notification bell to hear about every time that I post. And with that, friends, I hope that you are having a fantastic day. I'm sending you some warm and sunny vibes, and I will see you in my next one. Goodbye.